If you're liking our content, smash that subscribe button and turn on hey, your everyone. notifications. My name is Frank from Major Saunders Coatings. Uh, we just wanted to have a quick conversation to let people know the things that they should know about before, before they get a car sprayed with coated. Um, unfortunately, this customer had a really bad experience inside our industry. Um, all they really knew about terrain coating was things that he saw online on YouTube and whatnot and on social media. Um, he went to a detailer, the detailer quoted him a price to do a paint correction on the vehicle and put a five year coating on it. Uh, he got the vehicle back after a couple of days, said the car was super shiny, it was hydrophobic, but he noticed that as he walked around the car after the next couple of days looking out in the sun, he just seemed like there was a lot of imperfections in it. Uh, he called us to have an evaluation done on the car, uh, he brought it up a couple of weeks ago, we looked at it. Um, really, there was a lot of water spotting all over the car, uh, especially on the glass and on the matte finished hood. Um, tons of micro marring and scratching across the front of the car. Um, and the paint correction in general just really wasn't done up to par. I mean, it definitely wasn't done enough to put a coating over top of. And so what happened is the coating got applied, it amplifies the surface. So the better the surface is, the better the car looks, the worse the surface looks, the worse the look after coating. And unfortunately, you know, it, 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 it is a bad reflection on the entire industry. Uh, what we ended up doing in this vehicle, typically this car with a two-stage paint correction would have taken, you know, roughly 20 to 25 man hours. Um, this one in particular, we ended up spending about 45 hours. Uh, we had to remove the coating first. Um, that took about 15 hours um, to get all of the coating off the car, and then we did a two-stage correction after that. Basically brought the luster up and everything. It was pretty tricky removing the water spots off the matte hood, because um, basically on these matte or satin hoods, uh, the more you rub on them, the shinier they get. So you have to be very, very uh, careful to keep them consistent looking. Um, but we were able to get this one back into the, what it looked like and then put the coating on. Same issue on the glass. Um, so really what you want to know as a consumer before you get your car ceramic coated is you want to talk to the company about what their prep, what their surface prep is. Uh, typically you're going to get a wash, you're going to get a surface decontamination, clay bar, and then they're going to do a one, two, three stage paint correction. And you really want to ask them what the paint correction involves. Uh, to do a one pass on a vehicle, typically for, for us, a one pass is a 50% overlap up and down, a 50% overlap left and right, that's considered a pass. Now there's some variables on that. You've got different types of pads, different types of compounds you can use on I mean, it. Basically think about it like sandpaper. You can run from you know, a 500 grit sandpaper all the way up to a 5,000 grit sandpaper for a really fine finish. You really want to find out before you contract a company to do a ceramic coating in your vehicle. Um, it's a big investment. The cars are a big investment. So you want to make sure what you're paying for is what you're expecting when you go pick the car up. So even if you don't live in our area and you just want some information, give us a call, 336-570-9790. We'll be more than happy to talk to you and kind of walk you through the process. Uh, tell you the kind of things you should look for. Um, you know, something we did for this customer, just because he had such a bad experience, um, we knocked a pretty big chunk off of his bill. Um, we almost covered what he paid the last company um, to do the coding. We almost took that amount of money off his bill, um, basically just to kind of give him a positive experience because if somebody has a negative experience in the coatings industry, that's all he's going to remember because it was bad for coatings in general. So we, we kind of took it upon ourselves to give him a good experience. He's going to pick the car on Monday. I've already sent a video of the car. He's super happy just as what he saw in the video. So again, know what you're paying for. Know what questions to ask before you go in to get a ceramic coating. All right, have a great day. Hey, welcome back to Ages Armors. Today we got this 2017 Challenger Hellcat. And as you can tell, it's all black, no metallic in it. And, uh, there were a few problems coming into this. Uh, the previous person who did a coating on this actually did not prep the surface correctly and coated over lots of mars and scratches, and it just overall did not look good coming in. Um, yeah, and one of the problems with that is it actually amplified all the imperfections. Yeah, definitely. So with the ceramic coating, it amplifies uh, anything on the paint by about like times 10. So you can imagine if you have some scratches and swirls in it, it's gonna amplify it and look even worse. Uh, we did a lot of correction on this thing this week, uh, about twice as much as we usually would. Um, lots of water spots on the hood, glass, and we even did lots of stuff on the wheels and calipers. We're about to get into that now. Good. Hey Clovis, so talk to me about these um, satin finish hoods um, and, and what you have to do with these differently from a normally uh, gloss hood. So with, with a gloss hood, you can go behind it and you can do paint correction to remove any of the surface imperfections. Um, so with the satin, if you, if you use a machine or really if you rub on it constantly, it's going to end up glossing up this satin uh, and you, you really just going to ruin the finish of, of satin. 
Okay, so you guys basically just, you know, use some uh, professional techniques to remove all the ceramic coating and the water spotting. That's we're right. able to get a very consistent finish and then apply the coating back to it. Yes. Okay. And then the wheels and calipers on this? Yeah, so we, uh, we took these wheels off. Um, we gave these calipers a good cleaning and then a ceramic coating on them. And so it was our marine ceramic coating. So it's gonna be a, a lot more durable for the uh, wheels and, and calipers. Um, and then we put the wheels back on and gave the wheels the coating as well. And then as you can see on the tires, we got our Aegis Armors Black Widow tire gel. So it's a non-sling tire gel, it looks really good. All right, and the glass in this vehicle, there were some issues with that as well? So the glass had a lot of water spotting on it. Uh, we had to go behind it and uh, do a actual a polish of the glass, to remove all the water spot that's on there. Uh, then we coated it with our Aegis window, our glass coating. Everybody, welcome back to Aegis Armors. I'm Clovis. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's your real name? Fucking <laughs> Sean. This, the whole time you're doing it, the whole time you're doing it, I was like, he's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. He's not gonna say what I think he's gonna say. And you said it. You Is that said what it, Sean. <laughs> I was, bro. I was thinking. Like, were you trying to get me to say that? Is it no. <laughs> you tapped into your mind, man. It spoke for you. <laughs> and what are we doing to that? We are gonna, uh, I don't know really. Boss's wife's car. Are we gonna we're do actually some, trying out a new coating on it. Are we gonna do paint correction on it? Paint correction and a new coating. And a new coating. Are we doing paint correction on it? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're gonna bring, bring the gloss level yeah. up. Yeah, there's bring really the nothing to correct. Uh, the car's been washed one time <laughs> since we got it. <laughs> So the question is, are we going to let the cat out of the bag that it's a graphene coating? Shh. Secret. Are you video? Uh, the work we did this week on it to make it look this good. So thanks for the light in my face there, Sean. Uh, <laughs> You're welcome. So you can't do correction, paint correction on a hood. So we had to work our magic to get all the water spots off so we can put our ceramic coating on this. I mean, you can't do paint correction on a matte hood. what I said? You just said a hood. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> My bad. You can definitely do paint correction on hoods, but on a matte hood, you're just gonna amplify, amplify